welcome back to my channel. This week we are tackling part two of making Rapunzel's outfit from Tangled and as you can tell from what I'm wearing I did in fact choose to make the corset this week. So without any further ado let me show you how I did that. For this project I'm using a free sewing pattern which I found on DeviantArt made by Scorpion Lair. After printing out all of the pages I then taped them together before starting on the mock-up. And for the mock-up I'll once again be using bed sheets. After cutting out all of the pieces it's time to start assembling the corset. Now this was a little difficult to do because the instructions in this are completely and utterly minimal. So having some prior corset construction knowledge really helped here. Alright, so here's me trying the mock-up on for the first time. Obviously there's no lacing in the front here so I'm just doing my best to hold it closed. Top half fits like a glove, like this area. Great, love it. The waist on the other hand, I have got so much room. Look, I can pull it closed in the centre, which it's not meant to do. There's meant to be a gap here. And I've still got room in the edges here. So I'm going to attempt to take that in a little bit. And then I think that'll be the mock-up done. Looks uh, really good otherwise. Here I am making those adjustments to the waist by pinning it first and then sewing in the changes. So here is one side adjusted and as you can see it is such a nice shape through here now. Um, I haven't done the other side yet so I wanted to try and show you just how loose this area here is. See how that's just, it's not a nice shape whereas this side, we like it. On to the real thing now, so I'm using two meters of this pink drill and I'm using one meter of this cotton sateen that I got off a spoon flower. First things first, time to cut everything out. Before construction on the corset begins, I have to baste two layers of drill to one layer of the cotton sateen. After that's done, construction can begin on the corset. First I start with sewing the bus panels together. After each piece is sewn together, I press the seams flat and open so that they're easier to work with. Time to repeat this process with the rest of the bodice. So the lower bodice pieces are now all sewn together and before I add the cups or the straps to this part here, I'm now going to add all of the boning channels into the inside of the corset. To make the boning channels, I am using a cotton twill tape. I sew each channel to the inside of the corset, sewing as closely to the edge of the tape as possible. Now that all the boning channels are sewn in, it's time to attach the cups. And after attaching the cups, it's time for the straps. I thought I'd give it a quick try on just so you can see how it looks on me. There's no boning in it yet, so it's a bit floppy in places. And it's just pinned to my dress, so it's a bit warped in the front, but this is probably how it's gonna look. My boning should arrive tomorrow and then I'll put that in. And then afterwards, it's just a matter of doing the lining and putting the bias tape around here and eyelets in the front and then it'll actually, you know, fit like a proper corset. <laughs> so I just got back from a trip to Spotlight and I got 
some bra cups and an underwire because I want to put this into my Rapunzel corset just to help smooth out the lines in that area especially because the boning channels that I've put only sit under the bust at the moment so I thought you know any extra support I could give myself up here would be great so let's try and figure out how to put these in because I've never done it before. I place the cups inside of the corset and then I hand stitch along the bottom edge using a blanket stitch to hold them in place. I make sure to only go through the drill layers of the corset so that the stitching does not show on the front side. Well that's incredibly unlucky. Uh, my needle just snapped before I finished sewing that in. Cool. <laughs> because my boning still hasn't arrived yet, I obviously cannot bone the corset. It was meant to arrive this morning and it's not. I swear to God, I am having the worst luck with the postal service at the moment. I have had so many parcels lost and delayed and this is just another one, I guess. So for now, I'm going to cut out the lining for the back of it and I'm going to cut it out of the same purple fabric that I used for the skirt because I have an abundance of it and I thought it'd be really nice and just tie the two pieces together. You know the process by now. First we begin cutting out the pattern pieces and then we sew the bodice together piece by piece. Once the lining was all sewn together, I then placed it onto the wrong side of the corset and basted it together making sure to leave the bottom edge open so I could put the boning in when it eventually arrived. I then trimmed along the edge of the corset right up close to the basting line because this will make it easier for me to attach the bias tape in the future. Speaking of, it's bias time. So I attach it by machine sewing one side of it first. And then I fold it in half over the edge and hand stitch the other side down on the inside. After waiting almost a week, the boning that was shipped with overnight shipping has now finally arrived, which means I can finally finish this corset. Whew. So I'm using two types of boning here. The first one is flat and that will be going in the two center front panels and I'm using spiral, which will be going in every single other channel. First, I measure each length of boning and then cut it using some pliers. I then apply a little cap to each of the end using pliers once more. Once each end is secured, into the boning channel it goes. I then repeat the same process for the flat boning in the front. So the bottom edge is all pinned together along here. First I'm going to baste it, then I'm going to go in with the pinking shears, trim it back. Then I'm going to sew the bias tape along that edge, flip it, hand sew it. All done. So now it's on to finishing the seam here and putting in all the eyelets. So first I'm going to apply bias tape to this front edge here, but slightly different to how I've done it on every other edge. I begin by machine sewing the bias tape down the edge and then I do some under stitching, which is sewing as closely to that line as possible so that when I eventually fold the seam over, it'll sit nice and flat. I just finished hand sewing down this bias tape on the inside. I didn't film it, sorry, it's just really boring. But look how nice that edge is. Now all I've got to do is put eyelets into each of these little dots here. And then it's finished! I just finished this test one and now it's on to the real one. To set an eyelet, I poke a hole through first using an awl. 
Then I put my eyelet through the hole that I just made and set it in place using an eyelet punch. After all the eyelets are set, I then lace up the front using a pink suede cord. And there you have it, that is how I made Rapunzel's corset from Tangled. My favourite thing about it is how it has all the screen accurate seams that are on Rapunzel's, like that is just well done, 10 out of 10. Now I'm really happy with how this turned out, I love the fit of it through here, I'm not too happy about the fit of it through here, I think I could have opted to not use the cups in it, I think they were fractionally too small for me. At the moment it's currently laced up with a pink suede which is what it's laced up with in the movie however i'm thinking i might swap this out to a more heavy duty cord just so i can cinch it in just a little bit further because there's room on me for the corset to do that but i think the strain on this suede would be a little bit too much and i'd risk breaking it and i don't want to malfunction in the disney parks so that'd be a bit but yeah other than that super happy with it i mean it was a totally free pattern which i'll link down below and for a free pattern, I cannot complain. It's pretty wonderful. Next week will be the third and final part in the series, and I'll be making the undershirt that she wears underneath this. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that part. And also, you know, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like as well. You know, it really helps out. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!